Hello, and welcome to this Pierce County Library System cooking video. My name is Matthew, I normally work at the South Hill Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make homemade JoJo's, also known by some people as potato wedges. I've heard a little bit of controversy over what they're called. Um, but, one way or the other, I'm going to show you how you can make some of this right here at home. So, let's go ahead and run through the ingredients, and then we will get to the cooking. So, first and foremost, you're going to want two potatoes. Um, that'll make between 16 and 20 potato wedges. Um, in addition to that, you're going to want one cup of flour. We're going to want one egg and one teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of red pepper, and if you want it to be a little bit less spicy, you can do two teaspoons of red pepper instead. Um, you're also going to want two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, and two tablespoons of paprika, either normal or smoked, both are really good. In addition to that, you're going to want two teaspoons of cumin, and two teaspoons of turmeric. We're also going to want quite a bit of vegetable oil, but the amount is going to depend on your frying pan. Don't worry, we will get to that, to that down the road. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut our potatoes. Um, so I've gone ahead and washed them off. It's always a good idea to wash your potatoes before you start working with them. And we're just going to take the potato, we're going to cut it lengthwise, and then you can go ahead and lay it on the flat side that has been cut. And we're going to cut both of these lengthwise again. And now each of these fourths, we're going to once again try to cut lengthwise. It gets a little tricky, so be very careful not to cut yourself. But you're going to take them. You can see it's already kind of a wedge. But we're going to go ahead and bisect it again. Okay, and you can see that's the type of the size of wedge that we're looking for. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of the potatoes into wedges of kind of that size. And then I'm going to put my cut potatoes into a bowl of water um, and let them soak for about 10 minutes. And that's to get rid of some of the excess starch. Okay, so while we're waiting for our potatoes to uh, soak in that water for 10 minutes, we can go ahead and get our coating and our seasoning started. So first, we're going to go ahead and make the coating that'll get our seasoning to stick to the potatoes. And we're going to take that one egg, and you're going to crack it right into a flat plate. And this is important because you're going to want to lay the potatoes in the mixture. Um, and so having it in a bowl or something is going to make that a little difficult. And once we crack our egg, we will go ahead and take that one teaspoon worth of sesame oil and mix that in. We're going to go ahead and break the yolk um, and kind of get that mixed together um, so it's fairly even. I like to use sesame oil, but if you don't have sesame oil or if you don't care for the taste of it, um, you can also use olive oil. It'll give a different flavor to it, obviously. Um, but both are completely legitimate. If you use olive oil, it is also just one teaspoon worth for one egg. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfectly separated, but once we have our egg kind of like this, we're going to go ahead and um, put this off to the side. Okay, and so we're going to take that one cup worth of flour. Once again, you're going to want this to be on a plate because we're going to be taking the um, egg mixture coated potatoes and laying them right in the seasoning mixture we're going to we're going to create. So we're going to have to start with that one cup of flour. We're going to add two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, the one tablespoon of red pepper, the two teaspoons of cumin, the two teaspoons of turmeric, and the one tablespoon of oregano, 
And then we're just going to very carefully, so that we don't make a mess, uh, slowly mix all of that together. And as we mix it together, we're you you may notice that the flour, the new seasoning mix, takes on a kind of reddish or orangish hue. That means you have the proportions about right. And you may be looking at this and thinking, wow, that's quite a bit of um, flour, which is perfectly fine. We are going to probably have some left over, but we're going to use that later in the recipe, so do not worry. Okay, so I've gone ahead and let the potatoes soak, um, and so they are nice and de-starched. And so now we are going to take the potato wedges, and you'll put them in the egg and oil mixture, and be sure to coat all three sides of the wedge. And then you'll put it right in the seasoning. Feel free to get it down in there hard. And you might have to get it around a little bit, but ideally you want it to be like this, where it's mostly coated on all sides. And once you have it like that, feel free to set it off to the side, um, because we will be storing these to fry them pretty soon. Okay, so I have battered all of the potato wedges, so now... Our last step is we have to actually fry them to get them ready to eat. And so I have my frying pan here, and I'm going to go ahead and take vegetable oil, and I'm going to put quite a bit in this pan. And this is why earlier I said that I couldn't give a specific amount, because it depends on how big your pan is. But I'm going to fill it to such an extent that it's about between an eighth and a sixth of an inch deep in the bottom of the pan, so quite a bit. And you can see for my pan, which is fairly large, that's quite a bit of that's quite a bit of vegetable oil. But um, we're basically going to want to fry the potato wedges, and so I'm going to go and I'm going to get this very hot. Turn it on to the highest sort of setting that you can. Be careful; it is it is oil, so it might kick a little bit, but once you have it absolutely very hot, you're going to start putting the potato wedges in. And because I don't have a deep fryer in my house, and I think most of us don't have a deep fryer in our house, you will have to sit there and basically turn the potato wedges back and forth so that they get cooked evenly. What we're going to do as we turn those potato wedges back and forth is we're going to continuously sprinkle the leftover seasoning over the top of the potato wedges to basically add more and more coats of seasoning as, as time goes on. Um, and you're going to fry them until they're quite soft. Um, and so 10 minutes of frying a given potato wedge is probably where you're going to start thinking about maybe taking it out or at least testing it. I like to cook them in batches of about 6 to 8. Okay, so you can see our final product now that I fried them. Um, I will remind everybody that because you're working with oil, it is a little smoky, which I got reminded of because I set the fire alarm off in my apartment. Yes, yeah, so thank you for listening to this Pierce County Library System video, um, and I hope you have a wonderful day.